All right, places everyone. Falcon of Buckeye, scene one, take one, and action. And cut. Places everyone. Falcon of Buckeye, scene one, take two, and action. And cut. All right, much better. Print it. All right, this is my second attempt at uh, getting to Buckeye from Falcon. I'll put a link up uh, above here to the first attempt that ended in a uh, rectifier failure. This is the directory over at Buckeye. Uh, as usual, I like to highlight the major frequencies, traffic pattern, altitude, and then because I'm going over stellar, I put the stellar frequency in the bottom there. Here's the sectional, pretty basic. Uh, you'll see there you're basically avoiding class delta, uh, Bravo shelves. Um, I did put in a flight plan. I didn't file one, but uh, I use a flight plan for the first time in the plane. And uh, so you can see there stellar and then a right turn over to... Buckeye, here's the actual flight itself. So I left uh, four right at Falcon, uh, went southwest, and there's the intersection at Stellar. And then I threw off the autopilot uh, and due to terrain and uh, Class Bravo uh, airspace, and then right into Buckeye from the east. So here is Buckeye. In taxiway, Charlie. Pattern work limited until further notice. Falcon Tower will close at 6 p.m. local time. Hazardous weather information available on flight service frequencies. All arrivals contact tower on 119.7. Advise on initial contact you have in November. All right. Get November. Falcon Airport information November 2154 Zulu, wind 050 at 7, temperature 23, dew point 2, altimeter 3003. 3003. Visual approach runway 4 right in use, landing and departing runway 4 right. Notice air emissions, runway 4 left closed. Taxiway Echo 5 closed. Use caution for personnel and equipment. Let's look at our flight plan here. <laughs> All arrivals and, and so we've got Contact Stellar, and then we'll, uh, Contact. You have information so we have Stellar, and then we'll, uh, make a, uh, little bit of a right turn there and head to Buckeye. First time I've tried this, uh, first time I tried to use a flight plan, and, uh, so thought I'd, uh, give it a try here. So we'll see how it goes. So we'll go direct to that. There it is. North Northeast, Falcon Field Airport, 50 feet above ground weather. All arrivals and helicopters, contact tower on 119.7. Advise on initial contact. Give information off. Oscar. Falcon Tower information Oscar, 2254 Zulu, wind 1003, temperature 22, 2.1, altimeter 3002. 3002. Landing and departing, runway 4 right. Runway 4 left, 22 right closed, taxiway Echo 5 closed. Use caution for personnel and equipment crossing taxiway Charlie. Oh, ground light sport 767 Sierra, so spot two with Oscar. I'd like to uh, depart the area back to the southwest. Light sport 767 Sierra, exit Falcon ground, runway 4 right, taxi via Delta, advise run out complete. 4 right via Delta, advise when run out complete, 7 Sierra. Falcon Tower, uh, 9 or 9 or 4 Lima Alpha on final. Plus, I'm going to take off from the taxiway Bravo, hold short runway 4 left. Taxiway Bravo, hold short Okay, run up. Falcon Tower information Oscar, 2254 Zulu, wind 1003, temperature 22, 2.1, altimeter 3002. 
4,000 RPM. Runway 4 right. Runway 4 left, 2-2 two, two right close. Taxiway Echo 5, close. Use caution for personnel and equipment crossing Taxiway Charlie. Pattern work limited until further notice. Falcon Tower closes at 6 p.m. local time. Construction Tower light out of service, 24 and auto. All ground lights board 70 X Rona complete. Lights board 70 X ray, continue taxi, contact tower 11 one, one, correction L124.6. 246, 70 X. Second tower lights board 767 X, just holding short of the four right ready. Lights board 770 X, Falcon Tower Roger. I'll show you what my concern is here. As usual, it's my coolant temp at an outside temperature of 77 degrees. Um, I try and get out of here before it starts to skyrocket, but uh, I think we should be okay here today. North American 705 to right, Delta 8, contact ground. And negative on Delta 8. Delta 8 is the next one. I need you to turn right, Delta 8. That's not going to happen. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, North American 705, right at Delta 9 -er, and contact ground. Delta 9, contact ground, 705. Lights 477, CRS, 5000 tower, fly straight out, and we're 4 right, so take off, no delay, travel to the mile final. Straight out, 4 right, 70. <laughs> Alright, fuel, fuel pump's coming on. We're out of here. Uh, number two, four, right, clear, touch and go, three, alpha, fox, shot. Traffic. Seven, zero, five, Julia, Falcon Tower, number three, follow R, 52 miles, final, number four, right, clear to land. Four, right, clear to land, number three, following the R, 52, uh, one, seven, we're up, we're gone. Flaps coming up. Straight out. Which would be a zero four zero heading. Nice board seven CR flight contact tower one one nine point seven enjoy flight. Nineteen seven seven CR three. Cherokee 15402, left phase, 4 right. Cherokee 15402, still in the system, contact tower 124.6. 24, 6, sorry about that. Dakota 407, follow Cherokee left phase to 4 mile final. Uh, follow Cherokee on left phase 29407. Light support 767, CRX, Fairfax there, right turn, distiller approved traffic off your right wing, 2 miles is Archer on the 45. Right turn approved, uh, looking for traffic, 7 Cherokee. Cherokee up your left on uh, final. They're currently showing 90 knots. Contact tower 124.6. Contact tower 124.6. Follow the Cherokee. Alright, there's pattern. And now we're looking for 218 for a heading. Because of the Bravo here, right, I'm going to keep it right here at, I'm going to take it up to 2,700 feet, stay under the Bravo. Measure will stay right here at 26, I think. Fuel pump's coming off. I got a guy in front of me, 100 feet below me. I don't think he's a factor. The Oxford.
Well, you can see this Bravo we got to be concerned about. That's 27. I'm going to stay right here at 26. That's 470 for Shepard. Frequency to approve. We'll see you at 76. Base for base, running for our continue, shuffle holding position, contact tower 124.6. Push a little to four the right, right here, continue so. traffic, turning base, See how contact we got tower 124.6, offer 4263. I'm going to stay with tower here for a little while. Got the guy turning base right in front of me here. <laughs> I'm going to keep it at 2500. That Bravo is 27, so... We're going to keep it right here. Right here. We'll do another direct to. Uh, our officer 6059, I'll put number four right. Second. Hop, number four right, officer 6059. 6039, back there. Right, Trooper. That's all about. Well, I clear to land off the 4263. And tower three off fuck shot on the right base, four right. Not sure if that's me or. Tower three off a fox shot, number two, follow Archer one mile funnel and four right clear to, clear to land. Uh, four right clear to land, and can we get a touch and go in departure to the north if possible? Uh, three off fox shot. Oh. All right, we'll stay out of the Delta. So there's our waypoint, P19. All right, that's it. Not sure what's going on there. I'm gonna climb back up to 2400 here, and then I think we're gonna kick the autopilot in and see how it handles the uh, see how it handles the turn. Menu, autopilot, HSI altitude. Autopilot. All right, we got the autopilot kicked in here. It captured 2,400 feet, which is just what I wanted. Not sure what's going on with the radio. So yeah, we'll see how it handles the turn. This is a, there are two types of, uh, of uh, flybys. One is a flyby, one is a flyover, I believe it is. I'll double check that, but uh, this should be a flyby, so it's not gonna, it's not going to put us directly over. Let's see if that's correct. Uh, I thought the uh, 
the default was anyway exit out of that and we'll see how it handles it I like to dial up the airport I'm gonna fly over of course in case there's anybody hanging out over there that's 2297 not sure what my squelch is all about. So we'll dial up 2297. See if there's any activity over there. I don't see any. Coming up on our waypoint in 2.3 nautical. Oh, bumpy out here today. I normally don't like to. I normally don't like to use the autopilot during turbulence because I think I might have mentioned before this autopilots have shear screws and. If it's too much of a strain for the autopilot to keep altitude and uh, direction and heading, it will. It's designed to break. And I've approaching had, waypoint. I've had two break on me. Approaching so. waypoint. All right, here's our waypoint. Nobody over here, from what I can tell. Well, if we can see, uh. Half a mile. Traffic. Where? All right, here comes our turn. And of course, we got a guy coming right at us. And there's our turn. That worked out. And there's that guy. There's the traffic right there. I'm not sure if he was, I'm not sure where he was out of. So, there's our turn, and of course we've got terrain here. So, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to either climb or go around these mountains, and I just pretty much wanted to see how it handled the, see how it handled the waypoint, and it did really well, so, um, so yeah, we're gonna head, they're gonna disconnect the autopilot. Autopilot, disconnect. And we're gonna head south of these mountains. So the next leg here, we got 37 nautical to go. Luckily our not sure where this noise is coming from, but let me see if I can get rid of that. Let me see if I can get rid of this squelch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sure where that's coming from but well, that's pretty annoying let's go ahead and dial up Buckeye leaving altitude so as you can see our Bravo here now is 2300 feet above us that's a good thing uh, 
So, uh, weather, 1962. Let's see what their barometer is over there. If we can get it. Away. Uh, Unicom 2297, which is the same. Huh, same as Stellar. Not sure what happened to my uh, squelch here. the squelch issue but uh, all right I'll show you what uh, looks like they're using one seven over there I'll show you what I'll show you this message here first of all so this message, when you do a battery, I just did the battery test on the Dynon. Um, occasionally, I don't know what the time interval is, but you have to make sure that your your battery, your Dynon battery, is uh, it's supposed to last for one hour. So that if you lose, if you use electricity in the plane. You still have one hour where the Dynon will... The Dynon will function on its own, uh, its own battery. Nice little thing, nice little feature. Let's double check the Delta here. It's Sorry, we're a little early there, guys. <sighs> Sorry, we were so early. We did the best we could. Yeah, that's good. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Okay, doesn't look, uh, doesn't sound like there's a lot going on over there. So I think we're gonna go ahead. Right Varney 469 in the right cross and part here to the southwest last call back. Traffic pattern is two thousand feet over there. We're at thirty-two right now. We'll stay out of this Bravo here. I don't uh what is that? That's 3,000 feet. Yeah, we're definitely staying out of that. Bravo. That's 5,000. And... Our only issue is uh, this Bravo right there. So we'll uh, and keep it here. We're at 3,100 feet right now. A little bumpy. Approach I-2486, early right cross line to 17 short push See if the weather three, is two, three, two, wind one two zero and six nine. Visibility more than one zero. Sky condition clear below one two thousand. Temperature two two Celsius. Dew point three Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero three inches of mercury. Three zero zero one, three two, two one. 3003 in the altimeter. Got that dialed in. I'll show you what. That's the correct voltage. 14. So it looks like it was the rectifier itself. Problem solved, I hope. 
They're using 1-7 at Buckeye. Pretty sure we'll miss the... Stay here at 3,000. Puts 2,000 feet below the Delta right now. That was stellar. Wow, we got the we got a blimp. Looks like we got a blimp over at Goodyear. Maybe we can swing by there and uh, take a look at the blimp. All right, we'll keep pushing. Uh, keep pushing west here a little bit. Swap this again. So we're now, now we can push for this terrain. As long as we stay out of here, you'll see now we're 3,000. That shelf is 6,000 feet. So if we just keep pushing west here a little bit and then we'll push northwest to uh, miss this terrain. Could go over it. I think it's, uh, but. We're fine here. I'm going to verify this. Traffic. Bravo. 5,000 feet. Romeo, five miles to the south, entering a left down wind for 17 stellar traffic. Oh, stellar. Because I've got Buckeye as a right downwind into 17. Right 17, yes. Yeah. Oh, it looks like you the are direct to okay. traffic 2488 going around. All right, looks like we're good to go here. What do we got? We're 17 out. There's 17 out, so coming from what? It's a direct west. So here's my MO. Here's what I like to do. Boy, I hope it's not picking up that squelch. So I like to go 1,000 feet over pattern. That's 3,000. That's where I am right now. And then this is a right downwind into 1.7. So my MO is get back on our heading here. Buckeye okay, traffic 4488 right cross with runway 17 Buckeye. Okay. Still 3000 below the Bravo. Let's just verify what this Bravo Approaching is. altitude. Yeah, that's 7000 feet, so we're good to go there. We're good to go. Got a guy in front of me here, same altitude. Um, man, oh man, where is that squelch coming from? Okay, so we are, what, 15 to the east. You can see here our waypoint is, bearing the waypoint is 275. So we see you still on the route for anything? Yeah, I guess it's, if you're making comments, we just can't hear you for any 46. What's going on there? This is Bunny 46. We are on the upwind for runway 17. Doing a short approach. As you go. My close traffic. Buckeye. 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 That call could have been a little better. Buckeye traffic 4488 right downwind for runway 17. Buckeye. All right, how are we doing here? We still got our backup battery is still low. It's still charging. So there's a message again. For some reason, I've got, oh, that's, I got it. I got to test the right side. I tested the left side. Um, 
which is all I really need. So the message on this side is that I still need to do the test and that it's low because the deal is when you test the Dynon backup batteries, you kill everything and then it's a 45 minute test. And if there's enough power after 45 minutes, you get a, you get a, um, you get a test okay message, meaning that your battery is still good. Um, yeah, I, I just did the left side, and so this side just says battery low charge, so it's it's still charging up. It's still charging up after the test. That's what that's all about. So we're 12 out. Uh, distance the waypoint, 11.9. We'll announce uh, 10 out. Give them a heads up. Now that I'm an internet star, they're probably, uh, or a YouTube star, they'll probably all know my call sign. Buckeye Travis 4488. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Boy, it's nice over here. I've. I've only flown over here on my way to and from L.A. Um, I did fly in here two years ago for the for the AOP fly-in, but that's about it. So I'm going to take it up to 3,000, which we're at now. Um, our altimeter is 3003, so... I'm going to go ahead and give him a heads up, let him know what I'm doing. Messed up. Maybe I'll wait till 8. Not a whole lot going on over there. I'm going to wait till 8. Gorgeous day, 69 degrees up here. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, we're coming up on eight okay, here. Traffic running for 86. I'm a beam. The number is only a one seven. Doing a short approach. Touch and go back up. Okay, traffic 40. Up with up with runway one seven five. Boy, they're active over there. Active training. All right, I think I got the airport in sight. I think I'll announce it eight here. Switch fuel tank. Oh, oh, what happened there? I wonder if that's... All right, I think I will. Fuel pump coming on, going to the right tank. All right, we're seven out now. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a heads up, let him know what I plan on doing. Buckeye Travis, Barney 48, right across with 17 Buckeye. So I'll practice uh, Buckeye, tra Buckeye traffic, light sports 7 CX ray is uh, six to the east. I'm going to be over the top, 3,000 feet, coming back for a right downwind in a one seven Buckeye. All right, we're six out. Buckeye traffic lights forward. Seven CX ray is six to the east. I'm going to be over the top, 3,000 feet, coming back for a right down in a one seven Buckeye. Okay, traffic 4486, upwind, that one rail, 178 is very close, traffic, touch and go. Okay, touch and go, touch and go, okay. Buckeye traffic 4048, right downwind, 17 Buckeye. All right, looks like we got one guy on downwind.
So yeah, this is kind of what I like to do. It, um, let's go. It lets people know that, you know, I'll announce when I'm over the top, thousand feet above pattern. And then I'll do a, uh, I'll do a little left, um, what is that, a 270. A little left 270 teardrop for a right downwind into uh, one seven. Approaching altitude. You know, people do it different ways, this sort of thing, but this kind of works for me. We got two aircraft. There's a guy off to my left here somewhere that I don't see. Approaching altitude. Boy, I'd like to get rid of this squelch. I don't know where that's coming from. Approaching altitude. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know. Let's get up to 3,000 feet. I'm at 20. So it looks like just two guys in the pattern there. Uh, looks like this guy's uh, downwind. Not sure where this guy's going. Uh, anyway, all right, we're at 3,000 feet. I'll tell them uh, what I'm doing here. Buckeye traffic, Marty 48, final runway 175. Oh, I got it. One guy in final, one guy in downwind, so it's all good. I think I'll be able to sneak in between them, maybe. Buckeye traffic, lights 47, circuit is over the top, 3,000 feet, uh, coming back for a right downwind into 17 Buckeye. So you see how they're, these guys are at pattern, so he's exactly. Okay, traffic, series two, pop fox, cross 10 to the south, set down for 45 degree entry, right downwind, one seven, full stop, okay. All right, so I'll push maybe a mile to the west. This guy's coming in, looks like, that's the guy that just announced here, this guy. Buckeye traffic, Barney, 486, right, so base, I'm gonna wait. Seven, I'm gonna wait for, distance away point approaching the, altitude do a mile and then I'll come back What's up, Betty? my guy oh How great you? You're just How you going Boo, you know I can't believe you're still quiet there's I'm not there oh my god that's a good idea talk on the radio it's a great idea of course, he'll probably watch my video and give me a call. 750 Kilo, approximately nine miles to the north inbound, and taking a straight in for 17. Any traffic in the area, please advise. Buckeye. So, this is kind of a pet peeve of mine. Uh, this is a copy of the AIM. You can see your uh, traffic in the area, please advise, is not a recognized self announced position. Uh, if you're listening to traffic uh, 10 miles out, um, you're going to know where. Uh, traffic is and how busy it is so just monitor the uh, frequencies at least 10 miles out and you won't have to ask uh, if there's any uh, traffic in the area the second thing is uh, straight ins uh, you can see here the FAA discourages uh, VFR straight in approaches to landings due to the increased risk of a mid-air collision that's another uh, little pet peeve of mine it's uh, uh, just a normal traffic pattern is so much safer. You uh, you can see what's going on on the field, etc. All right, what are we? Eight ten. Maybe. Copy, viewpoint from the press one seven. Copy. Five two. Okay, traffic warning four eight eight up one one seven. Okay. Traffic lights for 7 0 X ray is entering the right downwind 1 7. Buckeye. There's 2,000 feet. I got a guy flying in straight in, which I am never, a, I'm never a fan of straight in. Just messes up. Traffic 0 2 8 Papa Fox, 
45 to the southwest, 2,600 descending, 2,000. Setting up for 45 degree entry right down, only 17 full stop. Fuck okay. All right. Okay, traffic, Harney 486, upwind, 17, doing a straight out departure to the south. This is the last call. Okay. Okay, traffic lights 476 Ray is going to be turning uh, right base here. How far out is the straight in traffic? Yeah, I'm approximately uh, five and a half miles uh, out, straight in for 1750 kilo. Okay, I'll come in attorney, attorney base now, 17 Buckeye. Buckeye traffic, Barney 48, right now, 17 Buckeye. All right. I hate those straight ends, but what are you going to do? All right, flaps coming in, fuel pump still on, 70 knots. 70 knots, looking good, looking good. Flaps, half. Okay, traffic lights for some surgery, final, 1-7, Buckeye. Full flaps stop. over speed. Yeah, I'm about a three mile final for 1-7, uh, 530 kilo. 70, 70. Okay, traffic series 285, Fox oh. 3 to the southwest, 45 degree entry, right oh, downwind, 17, full stop, Buckeye. Okay. Floating a little bit here. Take the second exit. Wow. One of my better landings. Yeah, Buck on Chevy Banana five zero key on short final for one seven. Where the fuck is it? Rexy Way Delta. Traffic. This is another little pet peeve of mine. I, I know they're starting to add up here, but uh, in the AIM, it does mention that you should uh, state the runway you are clear of instead of just saying clear the active, uh, just a little thing. Okay, traffic series 28, pop a fox shot right down when four, one, seven, four. God, I hate those straight ends, but what are you going to do? I mean, if the guy's coming from the north, right? I guess you got it. You got to cut him some slack. Flaps coming up. What's our battery look like? 12 points. Well, I got traffic fast, 5 zero kilo going around. Going around. Five zero kilo. Round. You know, you want to you want to announce a touch and go if that was his plan why not just say touch and go on coming in you know like I announced full stop it's I don't know it's kind of basic stuff I think but what do I know so here's the terminal building nice uh, nice little facility there's uh, my arrival on the board. Um, you see there some couches, uh, beverages, nice, nice clean restroom. There's my sandwich uh, that I brought with me. Here's the uh, fuel pump. And overall, uh, just a nice uh, little destination. Um, and parking, to give you a heads up, parking is there towards the north. So. All right, let me know if you have any questions.